I'm just about to reveal how you can start an online business as the complete beginner on redbubble.com and all the hard work will be done by artificial intelligence for you, so let's get started. Now, to keep it very simple and straight to the point, redbubble.com is a printing on demand site. The way it works is actually pretty simple. You see, you're not actually going to print those items until you receive an order. And so you don't even need any storage spaces. To make it even better, you're not even going to handle the product yourself because Redbubble will just manufacture those items and even ship them over to your customer's door. It is that simple. That being said, what I want you to do next is click on sell your art. And now you need to set up an account as a seller on redbubble.com. Don't worry about it, it's not a difficult process, it's just a question of entering in your credentials and setting up your online store. So let's click on start selling and move further. You want to make sure that the artist sign up is checked and then you want to enter in your email, username and password. Then click on the sign up button and you're good to go. No application process needed, it's literally as easy as one to three. In other words, anyone can start an online business, an online printing on demand business on Redbubble, but not anyone can do it profitably. And that's the thing about it, if you actually want to sell products on this website efficiently and not just waste your time playing around with some crappy designs, you need to follow this tutorial closely because I'm about to drop some tips and tricks that will help you out. Now, once you've successfully signed up, you want to click right here on your profile and then on sell your art. And this is where you get to optimize your online store. You get to set up your shop and add a profile picture, a cover image, add the social media links and so on and so forth. If you want to create a brand, and I would highly recommend that you do that. You can also set up your payout system, but most importantly, you can create up to five products. So let's just add a new design. And this is the step where we're gonna stop using Redbubble and we're gonna switch over to midjourney.com because we need to upload our new work and we don't have any. For that reason, I've just switched over to midjourney.com and I'm gonna click on join the beta. This is how you can start using their tool for free. The way this is structured is as a Discord server, so it shouldn't be very difficult to navigate through it. You want to accept the invite and then just join their server. Now, I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video, you're somewhat familiar with how Midjourney works. It's powered by artificial intelligence and it's one of the best tools when it comes to creating art. It's literally gonna come up with some of the best designs you've ever seen and I'm not just throwing words around. As a matter of fact, it's not the only option. There's another tool called DALI2 developed by OpenAI, which will also create realistic images starting from a natural language description. And another option you have is called Stable Diffusion. But I personally prefer Midjourney for its capabilities. You will see exactly what I'm talking about in just a second. Once you're on the other side, once you have successfully joined the Discord server, I just want you to take a minute to go over to the home section here and just have a look at some of the most impressive artworks. Guys, this one right here was literally generated by AI. Not a famous artist, not an illustrator, artificial intelligence. And that is unbelievable to me. All of these pictures were generated by AI. Just as a quick disclaimer here, if you want to get results that are this impressive, you will have to take some time to study precisely how the tool works and how to use parameters and keywords in order to manipulate the result. Because if you just type in girl on a tiger, you're not gonna get the result that is this impressive. But now let's just take it one step at a time. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Just as in any field of activity, there will be people who are a little bit better than you. But as time passes and as you get in some reps, I'm pretty sure you will get better at this. And so what you wanna do is go over to one of the newcomer rooms. I'm just gonna pick one of them at random. And this is where the fun begins. There are literally endless ways you can use it. Ranging from creating a landing page, it is literally going to set up the design for your landing page, as you can see, to creating characters, to customizing your photos in a specific style. You can just upload your own photos, ask me journey for a customization, and it is going to create four different variations of that style. And this is what people are doing as we speak. The fact that we can also see other people's works here is outstanding. But once again, let's not get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure you can waste a lot of time on me journey just playing around and testing, but we wanna keep things simple. Remember, what we are here for is a good design for our printing on demand business, right? That people genuinely want to purchase. And here's the thing about it. Now, these designs right here are high quality. They look awesome. Some of them are really, really good and professional, photorealistic and whatnot. But there's a difference between a good design and a design that actually sells. I mean, even though this picture looks good, it would probably not generate any sales whatsoever because it's very random. People don't care about this. And for that reason, there are two different approaches you can take. Two different methods that you can follow even if you're a complete beginner who's not an illustrator, not a graphic designer, 
not a talented artist. The first one of them is following trends, finding what people are searching for and taking advantage of all of that traffic. One such example right now would be the World Cup. Every four years, the FIFA World Cup is held and a lot of people are searching for it. Needless to say, it's the most popular topic right now, or at least one of the most popular ones. There's a lot of search volume around it. And so if you can put together some designs centered around that topic, I'm pretty sure you can get some good sales. Alternatively, you can just take advantage of the holidays each and every single year. Around Christmas time, people will start searching for that keyword, and that is Christmas. And so you can build your own store on Redbubble using the printing on demand business model and create some gifts that people can send to their loved ones around Christmas. So you can use that as a topic. All in all, it's the same strategy. You are just riding trends. You're finding out what people are searching for and taking full advantage of that. That's one approach. But here's the second one, and I personally prefer the second one. I'm talking about adding a personal touch to your creations. Instead of coming up with random designs that nobody cares about, you can personalize them. Here's an example. Here's your perfect case study. You can help turn people's family photos into memorable paintings. And this artist is well known for doing that. They've got 30,000 sales on Etsy.com alone. They are labeled as a star seller because people absolutely love their work, and they've probably made also million dollars on Etsy and I don't think that's an exaggeration but now trying to imitate their style would be foolish because they're already established in their niche they already have their reviews and testimonials and whatnot so competing against all of these established sellers is not a good idea. And same thing here. This is another artist who's got a very unique style. He's turning people's pet pictures into historical figures just by placing them in memorable settings, right? Here's a clear example of that. But trying to compete against them, trying to model their idea is not a good approach because you will be outcompeted, even with the use of AI. And that's why you need to experiment and eventually find your own unique niche. And as people say, the riches are in the niches. So the more specific you go, the more chances you have of actually standing out from the crowd and becoming a reputable seller on Etsy. And so here's how this works. By the way, this is most likely what they are doing too. You get to set up your own listing on Etsy.com. Whenever you get an order, you can use midjourney.com to create that piece of art and then you can head over to Redbubble in order to print your design onto a canvas. We're talking about wall art here. Now, of course, you can also print that onto a t-shirt, whatever the client wants. But generally speaking, wall art seems to be the most popular choice. But in order to illustrate that this actually works and I'm not just throwing words around and trying to waste your time, let me run an experiment right now. Let's just say that we are going to draw people as Disney characters, right? Let's say that is our niche. Well, let me help you do that using midjourney.com. What I'm going to do now is just connect to pexels.com to grab a royalty-free image that I can actually use without any copyright issues. So I'm just going to type in man. I want it to be as random as possible. So let's just keep the photo of this guy right here. I'm going to download that on my computer computer and we're going to use that as reference. In order to do that, you want to reconnect to the newcomer rooms on mid journey, hit the plus icon and upload your file. Just select the picture you've downloaded and hit enter in order to send it. Now you may want to pay attention to this because it will get a little bit confusing. You want to click on that picture and then hit open original and it will open it in a new tab. Now you want to hit the right click and copy the image link. Then you want to reconnect to mid journey and type this in slash imagine this is the command you have to send it and then you get to enter in your prompt. So let's paste our link, add a comma, and this is where we get to describe the new image we want. Now pay attention to this. As mentioned before, if you really want to get the best possible outcome, you want to take your time to study all of these parameters and keywords that you can use because otherwise you'll just get a very random result. Now, here's what I've used. I've just added a few different keywords, such as ultra details, hyper-realistic, epic, dramatic, and most importantly, I've added this little parameter at the end. You wanna add that in order to get the result, otherwise it may not work. Now I'm gonna hit enter and just wait around 60 seconds for the result. Let's see what it can do. I'm genuinely curious. Again, that's the exact same thing you would do for a client. They will send you their picture and you will have to customize it and turn it into a Disney character. As you can see, the tool is still working on it. And once you're done with it, you need to reconnect to redbubble.com and turn it into a wall art poster, a canvas print, or a framed print. And now guys, here's the result We've got. Now, I gotta tell you, this right here, it doesn't look too bad. But the thing about it is that you can even pick one of these variations and further enhance it. You can just select the one you like and keep adding details to it until you're satisfied with the final result. But at the end of the day, you've got all the resources you need to make it work. Just take your time to study your competitors, understand how the tool works, and take full advantage of it. It's got limitless capabilities, and this method is proven to work. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.